My name's Holly and I'm a bookaholic. Now I've been in a bit of a book slump recently and by that I don't mean that I haven't been reading so much because I have and my wrap-ups are testament to that but recently I have read some books that I have absolutely loved and that has put me in a bit of a book hangover. A book hangover is when you finish a book, usually one that you've loved and you are still kind of stuck in this world. You're not ready to leave the embrace of its pages and you can't stop thinking about it. So one of the first times that I encountered this, and I know that it is by no means exclusive to me, is with Harry Potter. And my way of dealing with this was just to read the Harry Potter books over and over again. And I was quite resistant to reading other books because they weren't set at Hogwarts. Likewise with His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman, I absolutely loved these and I just wasn't ready to leave behind the characters. So I would just go back to the beginning of the trilogy. So because of this, I didn't really read that widely as a child. I read a lot, but I tended to read the same things over and over. So the next time that I really encountered this feeling was last year when I read The Secret History by Donna Tartt. So I had a new tactic this time around, and that was to read all of the books. I feel like I'm still in the wake of this kind of book hangover from The Secret History because that's when I really started reading a lot. Devouring books like some sort of crazed addict trying to find the next great story. And I have found some books that have kind of scratched that itch. One of those is one of my favourite books of this year and it is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I brought this enormous, really heavy, weighty hardback all the way from New Zealand. That pretty much shows you how much I enjoyed this book and how much I did not want to leave these characters behind. However, when I finished reading this book, I didn't really experience the same sort of book hangover as I had with The, the Secret History. I really loved these characters and I wanted more of these characters. I wanted to be able to just phone them up and say hi and I felt like they were my friends and I felt like that was a secret history as well but at the end of this because it's such an emotionally exhausting book I was almost relieved to finish it. I don't think anything is ever going to live up to this in terms of emotional intensity and depth of character but it was it was a different kind of feeling when I finally got to that final page. When I finished it I just kind of wanted to cry and read happier things. Um, so after reading this I picked up Yes Please by Amy Poehler which obviously is a sort of it's quite a pick-me-up sort of book. It's quite cheerful <laughs> and inspiring in many ways and completely different from this. So another book that I've read very recently uh, that has caused the most recent book hangover is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. It's one of those books that I read at exactly the right time I think and it's just got all the elements of something that I would love. It's set at a magical university, so there's magic and there's music. There's so much music. It made me miss my cello so much. It's got a fantastic leading character and it's got this real sense of mystery as well and adventure. So I knew that there was a sequel and I did want to eke out the trilogy a bit. The third one isn't out yet, so I thought, well, no, I'll wait for a bit and just savour it. But no, I couldn't. It's like having a bar of chocolate sitting next to you and saying, no, no, I'll leave the rest of the bar for tomorrow. It's not gonna work. So after finishing The Name of the Wind, I went and reread The Secret History, which was as good the second time round. And then I just picked up the second book, The Wise Man's Fear. So after I'd finished that, I then tried to read another book and I really didn't get along with it. And it made me feel a bit sad inside, uh, so, I then went and I, I reread The Name of the Wind, which is not something that I've done for such a long time. Since then I've sort of powered through a few different things, um, some of which I've really enjoyed, others have just been sort of so-so. But I'm really at that point where I'm desperate for something as compelling as The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear. So you might say that the whole book hangover thing is actually a good thing because it means that I read lots and lots of books in order to try and sort of get that high again I suppose. But it also means that I'm comparing everything that I read to the last book that I absolutely loved and the reason that I'm reading so much is that I can't get over the previous books. So for this reason I've decided that I'm going to get into fantasy more because 
literary fiction is great and lovely and I love it and it's mostly what I read but they don't tend to do sequels and they don't tend to do series and sometimes with literary fiction it just finishes too soon and you want more of it but it's not there. So I am currently reading the first in the Gentleman Bastard series, uh, The Lies of Loch Namora, and I'm reading this because Chauncey was currently reading it when I saw her recently and she said oh it's so good you must read it and I, I think she's she's very much into wanting to read fantasy at the moment as well. Reading, She loves reading big books and um, yeah, fantasy is obviously great because you can keep reading all the big books and there are more and more of them and it's great. So then I'm looking at maybe reading some Robin Hobb because she's written lots and lots of books. Uh, I think I'm going to start with The Live Ship Traders because Caitlin and Mercedes have been saying that that is amazing and great and then if I like those then there are so many more that I can go in and read. Also really long fantasy books are great for audiobooks because it makes your audible credits go really far because they tend to be sort of 30 plus hours. Anyway, those are my thoughts on book hangovers and how I've sort of dealt with them in, in the past and how I'm maybe not dealing with this one so well. But from you, I would love to know what is a book that you've read recently that's given you a book hangover and how did you get over it? Do you have any cures? Do you have any tips? Do you just read voraciously like me or do you go and reread or do you just stop reading? I would also love any recommendations that you could give me on fantasy books that are really beautifully written because that's what I really loved about The Name of the Wind was that it had a great story but it was also fantastically well written. So yes, please comment and interact in the comments and I will be there discussing things with you. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.